so hello everyone today we are going to discuss about to find the moment of inertia of flywheel first of all let us understand what is this flywheel flywheel is a basically a circular disk but it is a massive than the regular circular disk our aim is clear that to determine the moment of inertia of a flywheel uh, first let us understand what are the apertures we need to perform this experiment first is a flywheel second is a weight hanger third is a stored weight uh, to increase or decrease the weight of this weight hanger as shown as the right side of figure fourth is a stopwatch to uh, measure what is the time and last one is a meter scale to determine what is the height of this weight hanger from the uh, ground now we will understand that uh, what is the concept behind this experiment uh, as we know that in this universe the total energy is conserved we can convert one type of energy into another type of energy but uh, we cannot produce or destroy any type of energy from our side now as per as our setup and this concept of uh, energy conservation if we release this weight hanger it goes down and its kinetic energy will increase so mgh can energy of this uh, weight hanger converts into its kinetic energy plus uh, simultaneously uh, the flywheel also rotates so we have to add uh, another rotational energy which is equal to half into i into omega square and if we don't take any ideal condition so we have to add uh, friction also so total work done by friction we have to write it as a n multiplied by work done by friction for one complete rotation of flywheel here n is the number of winding of the string on the axle so finally equation is like that initial potential energy of a weight hanger which which is equal to mgh convert converts into the uh, rotational energy of flywheel half i omega square plus kinetic energy of weight hanger half mv square plus total work done by friction now after this portion we have to combine this kinetic energy and rotational energy by the very famous formula uh, v equal to r into omega and we can write the rotational energy half i omega square in terms of total work done by friction and the number of rotation of flywheel before it stop and if we denote it as a capital n so capital n multiply by total work done by friction equal to half i omega square now we have to put this two formula into our main equation so that uh, we can find the moment of inertia of flywheel and after solving this equation we can separate out the moment of inertia of flywheel as shown on the screen now let's take the overview of this formula here i is the moment of inertia of flywheel capital n denotes the number of rotation of the flywheel before it stop and m is the mass of this flywheel small n is the number of winding of the string on the axis of this flywheel h is the height of this uh, weight hanger from the ground and r is the radius of this xl and final term g which is a uh, acceleration due to gravity of earth we have to take 9.8 meter per second square but anyone from us who would like to perform this experiment which elon musk at the mars so we have to take accordingly gravity of acceleration due to gravity of the mars procedure for measuring moment of inertia of flywheel so initially you need to choose environment by choosing of environment i mean you need to choose the value of g so here the value of g for earth moon uranus saturn and jupiter are, are given so you can choose any one of them next thing you will be doing is setting up the values of the variables here variables are mass of flywheel diameter of flywheel mass of rings diameter of axle and number of rounds of core so you can just adjust the slider like this and just set the values now for starting up the experiment you need to click on button release flywheel and next thing you will be doing is once this mass release of the peg you will be noting the uh, number of revolution from this instrument on the left side of excel and the time in this stopwatch by doing this you will be completing one observation you can just uh, again reset the values of these parameters and take the different observations So here uh, you can vary the mass of this flywheel 
from 5 kg to 50 kg the diameter for flywheel can be adjusted to 10 to 30 cm you can keep it anywhere the mass of a rings is of 200 grams so you can vary from 200 gram 400 gram 600 800 or 1 kg but you can't keep is 300 okay because there is mass of a one ring is of 200 grams so if you keep two it will be 400 300 will be skipped the diameter of this axis can be varied from 2 cm to 4 cm the number of bounds around this axis see this is the one wound right now if i increase to four there will be four wounds around it okay so let's first take our first reading and one thing to notice that when you increase the number of wounds you can see that the height of this mass for being released is increasing means if i keep at one it will be two centimeter if i increase it to six it will go higher and it will reach up to 12 centimeter height now i just reset it and just release it to see what happens okay so when we release the flywheel the mass will apply a torque to the flywheel this flywheel will rotate and we need to find the number of revolutions it makes and note down the time after which it stops so let's just wait to stop let it stop first since it is about to stop okay it has stopped finally and you can see that when we keep a mass ring of weight 200 grams and radius of uh, axle is 1 cm it makes 22.88 revolution in 42.663 seconds you can note down this reading we will fill the observation table later okay so now let us vary the mass first you can vary any of this but let us first vary the mass okay so let us just release the flywheel as the mass is increased the torque means the force applied to the flywheel will increase this lead will this will lead to the increase in number of revolution and increase in number of time to let it stop so let us just wait to let it stop first and then we can uh, take the reading Okay, so it has stopped finally and the revolution it made about 47.26 revolution and the time it took is 1 minute 1 second and 959 milliseconds. So you can see the time is almost twice or you can say thrice the last time when we doubled the mass. Let us just keep the mass same and increase the number of mounts to 2. As the number of mounts is kept to the height is increased so the potential energy will be increased and the torque will also increase so it will also lead to increase in number of times and a revolution made okay it has just given a torque and it is rotating and let's just wait to let it stop and take our next reading the work of patience is you need to just wait to let it 
desktop and the instruments will make your work easy do not doubt the reading okay it has slowed down okay it stopped and the revolution it made was 42.62 revolutions and a time taken was 69.132 milliseconds okay now we have variated mass and the number of mounts let us variate the number of axis diameter also let us just keep it three as a whole number we can take a point also but let us keep a whole number let us just release the flywheel and let us just wait to let it stop and not out the next reading So it has finally stopped and the revolution it made is 33.87 revolutions and a time it took is 51.763 milliseconds. Okay, we have individually varied all this. Now let us variate all this, all the three parameters. Let's just give it two. Diameter is four, so radius will be two and mass is 400. Let us just release and a make a knot or a weight till it stops it is going to take a longer because we have increased the mass and also the number of wounds which will increase the potential energy so it will going to take a longer time to get it to rest and number of revolutions will be also more than the last readings As you can see, it has already made 125 revolutions. Things going on. Time is also one minute past. Quite a lot of time. getting slower finally it's almost two minutes I hope it will touch the two minutes one eighty six revolutions six point four three to be specific and a time it took is two point Two minutes, six seconds, and seven seventy two milliseconds. Okay, now let us just fill it to the observation table to and below. Put it one point eight is the gravitational force or the G value for Earth. The mass of strength wave first we took is two hundred, the radius is one. Height we first took was 2 cm, number of bounding is 1, number of revolution it performed is 22.19, and the time it took is 42.345.
as you can see angular formula and the moment of inertia is already calculated by the computer that you can calculate it manually by using omega is equal to 4 pi n by t and in moment of inertia by n m upon small n plus capital n into bracket 2 g h by omega square minus radius of x square you can put all the readings that we took then we double the mass kept the radius same height as a 2 number of boundings as a 1 the revolutions it made is 20 sorry 47.26 and the time it took was 1 minute and 1 second so we can take 61 minutes seconds and 458 you can say both are nearly same you can also add the third in which we took uh, same mass and just doubled the number of rounds which will increase the height obviously so it was made uh, around 42.63 revolutions in 59.154 time you can see okay so the next reading we made was just increasing the number of sorry radius of the axis we kept a diameter 3 so radius will be 1.5 uh, height became the number of 2 okay 2 centimeter is number of boundaries was 1 number of revolution it made was 33.92 and a time it took was 51.570 <coughs> the next was 9.8 the mass lastly we change all the things we kept the diameter 4 so radius will be 2 the mass will be the radius kept 1 the height we cap was 4 the number of boundaries was 2 the revolutions we got was for 89.34 and number of time it took was 1 minute and 25 seconds so we can take is 85.506 you can just note that uh, final moment of inertia you can take all this moment of inertia add it up and divide by number of readings that is 5 over here you can take a average applications of flywheel flywheel is used to store energy and used to produce a very high electric power pulse for experiment whereas drawing power from the public internal electrical network would produce unexpected spikes a small motor can accelerate the flywheel between the pulses the phenomenon of precision has to be considered while using flying wheels in moving vehicles. However, one modern application is to a flywheel is to point the satellite in correct correct direction without using the threshold rockets. Flywheel are also used in punching machines and reverting machines. For internal combustion engine application, flywheel is a heavy heavy wheel mounted on crankshaft. The main function of flywheel is to maintain the near constant angular velocity of the crankshaft. So hope you have understand the experiment and will be able to perform it by yourself. Thanks for watching the video.